It's June, just after a heavy rainfall, and the sky is filling with creatures we wouldn't normally expect to find there. At first glance, this might be a disturbing sight, but for the lucky males and females of Solenopsis invicta, otherwise known as fire ants, it's a day of romance. This is the nuptial flight, when thousands of reproduction-capable male and female ants, called alates, take wing for the first and last time. And I don't want to have to share. But even for successful males who manage to avoid winged predators, this mating frenzy will prove lethal. And for a successfully mated female, her work is only beginning. Having secured a lifetime supply of sperm from her departed mate, our new queen must now single-handedly start an entire colony. Descending to the ground, she searches for a suitable spot to build her nest. Once she finds the perfect spot, she breaks off her wings creating the stubs that establish her royal status. Then she starts digging a descending tunnel, ending in a chamber. Here, the queen begins laying her eggs. I try, but I get overwhelmed. The new queen relies on a separate batch of unfertilized eggs to nourish both herself and her brood, losing half her body weight in the process. Thankfully, after about 20 days, these larvae grow into the first generation of workers, ready to forage for food and sustain their shrunken queen. Her, no one to tell. Her daughters will have to work quickly, though. Returning their mother to good health is urgent. Her daughters will have to work quickly, though. Returning their mother to good health is urgent. The species has been on my mind for a very long time. This ant queen is very special and may be the most deadly ant queen in the entire northern hemisphere. But at last, how does their killer queens found their colonies? By parasitism, as you may have guessed. But their host species is rather controversial. It's another parasitic colony of the species Lassius umbratus. This means that this queen needs to outmaneuver another queen that has evolved to outmaneuver other queen ants. This puts this queen on the top of the list as a deadly ant queen. Truly amazing species. As time passed, the cocoons only turned darker and darker. I thought that she only needed one worker that eventually would open all of them. But that didn't happen. But then, I decided to do something rather freaky. I decided to take one of the cocoons and open it myself. Remember, this is something ants does delicately. But to my surprise, I managed to get an eager new worker to see the daylight. It was very weak and its skin hadn't hardened yet. But I decided to introduce it back to the queen anyway. I expected a slaughter, but to my surprise, she accepted her. Amazing, truly amazing. See a lot of a lot of people from nowhere moved from other places, orphan train, adopted kids all over the world. The same situation. Global event global process. What does it mean? Why we had so many kids? It's simple. Because colonialism, colonial troops killed all grown-up guys, parents, and kids were taken and moved away. And kids were given new 
history, new language, and new technology and everything. They were socialized in different places with different names because, you know, people, kids trust everyone they hear because they cannot compare, they cannot analyze, they trust adults. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to the Ants Canada Ant Channel and yet another Ant video which we upload once a week. Yes, thanks to you guys. Uh, a special queen. This here is a Laceous queen that I caught. Um, and she's special because she happens to be Laceous Claviger. Now, she is a total queen. She has wing scars, all of that, um, and all of the features that you'll see and hear about coming up later in this video, but she's special. And she's special because this is a social parasite species. Now what does that mean? Well that means that this queen right here cannot create a colony by herself. She needs a host colony. What Lacey's Claviger do is they essentially seek out a host colony. I believe it's Laceus neoniger or some closely related species. Um, and they essentially take over the host colony. They kill the queen, um, and then they somehow are able to win the love of the rest of the colony. And then the, these workers end up taking care of this queen. Oops. I connected my queen test tube to the newly caught workers and brood using a short vinyl tube as the connector. Then it's just to wait. Will the queen accept her new workers or cold heartedly kill them all? The only thing I could do now is to wait and watch. Finally, I think she accepted them. Because the next morning there was a newly hatched Laces Niger worker. Yes, the first step towards an Umbratus colony. Now she just has to lay her own eggs for the colony to grow. I am so glad that the introduction worked out without anyone getting killed. I think she accepted them. 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 I think she accepted them.